Welcome back to Digital Class, and today we'll be continuing this class booklet number one, the 15 must score basic topic, and this is page 12, question number 13. Okay. So now this question is uh, kind of special because it's not a common question, but it's a very interesting question. So let's read this question together. The number board below is made out of numbers from 0 to 99. Now, key thing here. A glass frame, there is a mirror of five, exactly five square of the table is used to cover five numbers. Okay? Basically, it means that now if this glass frame are uh, put like here, then it will cover like, like this. Okay? Yeah, basically, this is how it works. And here, continue to say what? Given that the sum of the five number covered by the glass frame is 370. Now, what is the ratio of the smallest and the largest number covered by the frame? Okay, uh, feel free to pause this video and try it out. You see how, how you will solve this question. Then later on, I will share my explanation. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is what? If the sum of the five number is 370, let's try to figure out what is the average. The average will be what? As you know, 370 will divide by 5, and probably you get a 74. Okay? Then you might start here, teacher. Uh, once I get 74, then what, what should I do? Now, this is a very key thing that you must know for this question, is that this glass frame, and this glass frame, it will cover five numbers, right? One, two, three, four, five. But you should know actually that the middle part of this glass frame actually is the average for the numbers that you cover. For example, let's just try it out. If example, if I cover here, 10, 11, 12, 1, and 21. Okay, Let, let's try it. If, is 11 really the average of these five numbers? Let's try. Let me just get my calculator. 1 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 21. It is equal to 55. And if 55 divided by 5, then that is 11. So this that makes sense, okay? That's why we know that, oh, if this part is really that average, really the average of the numbers cover, then for sure, if I know it's 74, then it will be covered by here. Can you see that? Okay. And of course, the question now is asking for the smallest and largest number. So the smallest number they cover is actually 64. And the largest number they cover is 84. And if you put on the calculator, 64 divided by 84, and you leave it in the fraction, for sure, you know that the answer is actually 16 to 21. And you are done with this question. And let me just give you some tips here. For the glass frame here, although you say, teacher, it only that look like this, that's why the middle is average. No, 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 no. Even if I have a shape like this now, example, if I have a shape like this, of course, this is square, okay? If I have the, uh, the glass frame like this, or even like this, even like this, it will still be uh, disconnected. It will still actually, the middle will still be the average. If you feel like you're not confident, you can try it out and you get the answer. Okay. So that's basically a special question about the number board and also the glass frame. And it, it doesn't matter whether the, the number board is arranged in, I mean, it needs to start with 0 and with 99, it doesn't matter. Of course, it might be sequence. It must be sequence. But it doesn't matter how it sequence the number in terms of start with 0 or end with 99. Okay? And that's all with this special and nice question about this number board and glass frame. Thank you. I hope you enjoy. See you. Bye-bye.